Creating 3D models is all about editing and deforming them. BricsCAD has the ability to deform the faces of 3D models. In the solid tab of BricsCAD's ribbon, there's a deform panel. And in it are a couple of commands that are very interesting to use. Move point and transform curve. Move point is a poor description of what this command does. It's better to see what it does visually. Click on the icon to start the command and the command prompt it asks to select faces of a 3D solid surface or region. Here's a 3D solid. Face isn't being selected when your cursor passes over it, then hold down the control key, click. So you can see there you can select more than one face, but we'll just do one for now. Press enter and specify a deformation point. Well, I find the easiest way to do that is to draw a vertical line to define where that point will be. So I'm going to click at the end of this line and you can see how the face is deformed. Now I can move the cursor up and down or enter in an exact value in the dynamic input to uh, change the amount of deformation upwards and downwards. Same happens with regions. So here I've drawn a region, selected it, grab the end of this line, and once again I can move it upwards and downwards. There is a bit of a lag in the reaction of BricsCAD. That's because there's an awful lot of calculations going on to define the new shape. The other icon that's interesting in this deform panel is called transform curve. And as before, the name does not do justice to what this command does. So follow along as I click on it and see what the prompts are at the command line. So it's saying select an edge to deform and I'm going to recommend you not select a single edge. I'll show you later what that turns into, but rather type M for the multiple edges option and then select a chain. That simply means a series of edges that forms a a complete number. Press enter to finish entity selection and then select the target curve which is the circle that I've drawn beforehand. Press enter to end the command. So let's uh, orbit this to have a look at what it looks like and you can see that it's the, the sides are twisted. Formerly rectangular edges are now form a circle. Let me undo this so we can uh, see what it's like when you select only a single edge. So I've selected the edge and it asks for the target curve, which is the circle. And then we can press enter to finish the command. And yeah, take a look at that mess. It's not pretty. To help me draw with the deform point command, I drew a vertical line and here's how I did it. First I went down here and made sure that dynamic UCS was turned on. And then I started the line command and move the cursor on top of the face. Notice the face is highlighted and that the UCS is automatically aligned to the face. Clicked roughly in the middle and then move the mouse. Then I held down the shift key and what that does is it forces the line to be orthogonal. Notice that when I move the mouse in this direction, the line is drawn the X direction. Move it in this way, Y direction. But if I move it up, it gets drawn in the Z direction. Click to place the other end of the line, press enter, to end the command.